Welcome back everyone to a brand new unboxing video and this time around it's uh, it's a little bit random. I talked last time about how I didn't know what my next unboxing would be, when it would be, if it would be, all those things. And a friend of mine and someone who's been supporting my videos, my podcast, my everything since before the beginning quite honestly, uh, a friend of mine Mike Lacey sent me this along with a text message warning me that I was getting something that should I choose to, could be used in an unboxing video. So here is my random uh, Mike Lacey unboxing video. Mike Lacey is a friend whose generosity knows no bounds and I'm sure that's going to be proven once again as I open this thing up. So uh, here we go. Let's see what Mike sent me. Cut it, there we go. Packing peanuts. Awesome, Mike. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, they're wrapped, and a card, besides. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, super awesome superhero wrapping paper. There's a card as well. I don't know if this is supposed to be on the air or not, but it's going to be. And I think that's it. <sighs> Packing peanuts, all right, there's the card. Open this sucker up. It's a Christmas card. Maybe <laughs> this is a, a late Christmas present over the year. I don't know. I love a Christmas story, uh, by the way. Um, is it really Christmas again already? It's really not. A little late or way early. Either way, oh well. Thank you for the countless hours of early morning entertainment and allowing me to be a small part of it, my friend Mike. Uh, early morning entertainment. Um, Mike is a manager at a grocery store and gets there very, 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 very early in the morning and uh, podcasts, uh, sometimes fortunately enough mine are included in that, uh, keep him company. So uh, Mike, it's my sincere pleasure and thank you for uh, these gifts which I'm about to receive. So here we go. Let's see what this first one is. Whoop, dropped it. I don't think this is what it actually is. All right. You know, like, if uh, I can't get the things unboxed, it's not much of an unboxing video. Good three. Holy cow, Mike, you are a friggin' rock star. Okay, Mike, I don't know who I have to thank for this. Aside from Mike, because no offense, Mike, but I know you didn't do this. This is a custom Carb Brock action figure. This is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Carb Brock is a very obscure Superman villain, pre-crisis, uh, made five or six appearances in the late 70s. I've slowly been collecting them all. I received a comic on a whim from uh, uh, my dad. He, he and his wife picked it up at a garage sale and it had this guy in it and I kind of became enamored with him. He's really good, as you can tell, really goofy looking. Um, and I was, like I said, I've slowly been collecting it at conventions and things I go to. I don't go online and buy the back issues I'm looking for. I, I just, it's the thrill of the hunt for me, if you don't know. I, I love rooting through bargain bins, uh, long boxes, whatever, at uh, conventions and, and shows and stuff I go to, and through that I've been slowly collecting all of his appearances, and there aren't many, again, he's a very obscure villain, and uh, this is incredible. No one else in the world has a Carb Breck action figure. Most people don't even know who Carb Breck is. Um, Mike, this is fantastic. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, wow, that's just awesome. All right. I can't even begin to imagine what's next, though. Man, there's no chance of these things getting damaged. Good gravy. All right. It is a graded comic, I can tell that. And based on uh, the other part of this gift, I can only imagine that it is, uh, yeah. Carbrax first appearance. 
Uh, 9.6. Uh, wow. I understand that uh, Action Comics number 6, 460 probably doesn't go for a lot, but still a 9.6. Uh, Mike, again, generosity knows no bounds. Um, you kind of get a little glimpse, and uh, there's kind of his likeness there. Again, you got to take my word for it. That's what it looks like on the front. Uh, going up against his uh, alter ego. And uh, I really want to tell you guys all about Car Brack, but uh, they, one, I wasn't prepared to do it. So I don't want to fumble over it too much because I had no. Ugh, this is ridiculous. And uh, I just, wow. This is fantastic. Mike, again, uh, your generosity is without equal. If uh, generosity was the force, you would be Yoda and then some, my man. This is absolutely amazing. I only actually have one other graded comic. I got my uh, uh, first appearance of Wolverine graded, more just to preserve it. Uh, I got them all lumped in long boxes back there. I don't, I don't, I didn't want anything to happen to it, so I just kind of got it graded for the sake of getting it graded. Um, but this is pretty awesome. Uh, I dare say I'm the world's biggest Car Brack fan, and now I have a means to prove it. And a, mits, a Mr. Mitzel Pitlick backup. I won't get to read uh, because it's sealed and graded and everything. Mike, dude, seriously, I, I'm at a loss for words, my man. This is amazing. I don't know how the rest of you feel about this unboxing, uh, but needless to say, this is incredible as far as I'm concerned. This is absolutely amazing. Um, wow. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. I don't think that's ever happened in an unboxing. Granted, I've only done a few unboxing videos, but how often is the person rendered speechless uh, and just left to mutter and mumble and, 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 and mutter and mumble? That's all I can get out. So, um, Mike, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, you also have to let me know who else I have to thank for this, because again, no offense, but I know you didn't do this. Um, uh, whoever did it, though, I I can I mean, ugh, awesome. Oh, she's going right on my desk. Every time I sit on my computer, Carb Brack is going to be looking right back at me. You guys need to Google Carb Brack, K-A-R-B dash B-R-A-K, the, the front and the back there. Um, again, goofy guy, weird powers. Um, weird appearances from what I've read so far, and this is one I haven't read and won't get to because it's sealed up, but that's that's fine. Um, wow. So my next unboxing, which will be a little more traditional and will probably not leave me nearly as uh, satisfied as, as Mike has left me here today, will be uh, my Loot Crate. Loot Crate's coming, I believe, next week, maybe end of next week, sometime around there. Uh, so this little video is certainly going to hold me over, hopefully it holds you guys over as well. Um, and we'll throw out a little question because this is kind of an unconventional one. Carb Brack is definitely an unconventional guy. Who's your favorite Z-list superhero or in this case super villain? Who's your bottom of the barrel, nobody cares about this guy or gal except for you? Who is it to you, that? It, who is your Carb Brock? Because we've all got a Carb Brock somewhere in our heart. And this, and now I've got one on my desk as well. This is awesome. Mike, you're a rock star. I'm done rambling. This is amazing. Let me know who your favorite Z-lister, bottom of the barrel superhero or villain is. And uh, we'll be back with another unboxing before too much longer.